Now we'll see in this particular vein tracer where my student Trivikram started this work, how did we go about, I'll quickly explain to you. And now you all know the first value of death, what happens when a student makes a mock-up and you know, does a user testing. You take it forward, make a working prototype and then go and test with users. It's crossed the first valley and it's at the prototype stage. After the prototype stage, you take it forward and produce a pilot production. Produce more number because you need to test with more number of users. Then you reach the mass production where you can you know, implement large scale and you cross the third value of death of the idea. There's that serious. Why are you using such a strong word like death? Because it's, you know, we start with so much passion and finally it doesn't reach the market. And if it doesn't reach the market, if it doesn't reach the user, the seventh C doesn't work and it's no longer innovative. You can all say, oh, it was an innovative idea. Oh, it was an innovative product. Oh, it was an innovative mock-up model. But even using the word innovative is wrong over there according to me. Innovative research, innovative technology, all these you are hearing. As of no use till it doesn't reach the people at large. Okay, so here I want to tell you this uh, story of uh, Rivikram who d took a course under me called Collaborative Innovation. In the electric, the whole class was sent to blood banks all over Bombay to find out what are the problems blood banks are facing. So they came up with a number of problems. Trivikram said, you know, it's interesting that people are come to, coming to donate blood and they're going through pain, which was not acceptable to him. So he, he took that as his cause. He said, I'm going to solve this problem. So from there, he went ahead and he studied what all is happening at the blood donation camps. Trivikram said, I'm going to look at the vein tracer. So then they studied in detail what's happening to the vein, you know, they're not able to find, then what they do. Then very interesting, the student is digressing, right? He went to a blood bank and now he's checking everybody who is going for a blood test and who is going for a hospital. So all this is a hospital work. Why am I going to a hospital to check what's happening there with uh, blood testing uh, mechanisms? What will I learn from there? Very good, new ideas, new ways, new methods, new problems. And then what is the mistake? you get carried away in your design process. So you found out where all, you know, it's critical. He did all data collection and found out that if you use infrared uh, LEDs, the deoxygenated blood veins are visible like dark lines. And then he developed a number of ideas. First he said, I will like to have these infrared light on the syringe itself. Then he said, no, no, that's not gonna work because this has to come in close contact with the skin. Okay, so that the light can enter inside. So he said, that's not possible. Put this infrared LEDs, uh, you know, on the skin so that your veins can be seen through the skin. And then you take all the ideas together and develop concepts. How many concepts should we develop? Minimum three, which are different from each other. What happens when you develop multiple concepts for the same problem? You reduce the chance of failure. If you just develop one and it fails, you won't be able to analyze it, whether it is correct or not. In this idea, oh, he said like, I need a rest on the arm, so can I have a rest? You just ask your friends to be, you know, put that on them and try. This is a very important creative journey. A number of times we don't do this, that this is a very, very critical and very important in your concept creative development. So then you come up again with some more options. You say what all we can do. Then you build something called the mock-up. Before you build the mock-up, the student also built something called a working rig. He went to Lamington Road in Bombay. He picked up all these LEDs. He rigged up a circuit and he found out which directions to the circuit should be used so that you can actually see the veins more clearly. We are now at the first value of death and then his project got over. So we built a team around this. We hired designers who are experienced in the industry. We hired consultants who are experienced in working in LED industry, right? That also part of my research where we found out that you need to hire specific technology consultants into your project. We hired all those people and we started work. Then what happened? We have just at the first value of death, right? To cross the value of death, what do we need to do? Working prototype. Working prototype means it's exactly the same size we thought of and it also works without all the tooling thanks to new technologies of PCB manufacturing, new technologies of 3D printing. Now in this area, it's very interesting. Remember the value of death where we clearly said that you need to now collaborate with small manufacturers or small R&D organizations to build
build your prototype because that's very critical now. Then our consultant told us very important aspects of safety, uh, uh, charging circuits, how you, you see all those mobile phones, um, uh, you know, sort of uh, exploding, right? These are products for the medical area and you have to be very safe. So you develop the circuits now, you bring in the experts in the area of circuit manufacturing, PCB manufacturing and now this goes to a very, very professional journey and you come up with a prototype.